Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I am your host, Laurel Gray, and I'm joined by the wonderful Andrew Wadsworth from IT Moody. And today we are going to be talking about JotForm, which is an awesome form creation tool. Now, what happens on Teach Me Tech is that we give a demonstration of brand new or existing technology tools that you can use to better your business. We give live demos and walkthroughs so that you can actually implement these tools on the fly. So, today when we're talking about getting started with JotForm, two quick things that you can do. First thing, please follow along. Hopefully you've got a more updated computer than that guy. And you're following along uh, on your laptop or on a mobile device maybe. And you'll be able to actually set up your account on the spot. So make sure you've got everything together with you. Secondly, please ask and share either on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus using the hashtag TeachMeTech. And we'll be able to join in on the conversation right along with you. Awesome. So, what are we going to cover today? First off, what is JotForm and why you should consider using it in your business specifically? The different ways you can use JotForm to collect data. How to get started and set up your free account. Creating your first form, very important. Understanding what form fields are. Gaining proficiency with form logic, which sounds complicated. Thank goodness we have Andrew here with us to help us. Making the most out of the templates feature, making your form beautiful with themes, and finally, additional features and integrations. You know we love talking about our integrations here. All right, so let's get started. Okay. So I've got Andrew Wadsworth here with me, and in my mind, and probably I've said it on social media and out loud to many people on the bus a few times, Andrew is basically an integrations expert. So. Whereas I kind of think about things maybe at a low application level for my business, Andrew is kind of up here when it comes to integrations. Mm, and yeah. your business is called IT Moody. IT Moody, yeah. What's, so IT Moody, we started um, a business, basically business process consulting business around helping businesses get more out of the cloud technology that exists these days. So when I first started my business, the first thing I did actually the first opportunity that I saw was actually collecting data through forms in my business, you know, collecting lead data and things like that, and having that go somewhere filed away so I didn't have to manually do it. So it's quite pertinent to, you know, my first um, small business that I started, this whole form piece that we're going to talk about today. And IT Muti was started with me and Jason Paisies, and IT Muti means IT medicine. Muti is uh, at Zulu, in Zulu, it's medicine, and um, because Jason is from South Africa, he had, um, he was told a lot as a kid, you always need to have your muti. Oh, well, there we go. Now we understand the meaning behind the name, and what a perfect first uh, episode for you to do on jot form. Excellent. Okay, yeah, that's it. So let's get started. All right, so look, I have to admit, I have been using forms for a long time in my business, and I have been a WooFu girl for years. Mm -hmm. So I know JotForm, WooFu, we hear of Gravity Forms. There are so many different options on the market. Why would we consider using JotForm in our businesses? Well, the short answer is use what's right for you. Um, mm -hmm. WooFu is a great product, but JotForm is good because they've just released some great upgrades to their templates and themes. So making a form is easier than it ever has been before. So I would say at the moment, JotForm is the easiest form builder out there. Mm, excellent. So we know we're always looking for the easiest and uh, the most effective tool that we can implement in our business. Yeah. So mm -hmm. thinking about forms, a web form is a place where a visitor to your website can go to and fill in data through fields like email or name. And then that gets submitted somewhere, either to you, to your email, or to the server for you to get later or download. So web forms have been around for a long time. And the most common place you'll see it is on a contact form. Mm. So if you have a website, that's probably the first form you, you, would, have been, you would have had an experience with. Um, so so, there's, um, so the, what JotForm has done is made it so that anybody 
can create forms with any fields or different types of fields, drop downs and multiple choice and tick boxes and file uploads in a drag and drop fashion. So you don't need to know how to code HTML or make it beautiful with CSS. Uh, it's all done for you just with drag and drops. Uh, you know, what you see is what you get editor. Awesome. OK, so it sounds really easy to use and easy to set up. Mm -hmm. um, now, what if it's a business uh, that's just starting off, and maybe they only have got a contact form on their website at the moment? Yeah. I guess, why would that type of business, or somebody just starting out, why should they consider getting on job form? Well, we can look at all the various parts of a business and then how forms can be used in those parts of the business. So if you're just starting out and it's only you, soon you're going to be needing to hire people. So a way of accepting job applications on your website would be to have an application form where people can upload their CV. And it's always good to be looking for new talent in your business anyway. So having an application procedure or a way to accept applications on your website is a good one to start with as well. Mm, okay. You could so, also have order forms, you know, mm. sell, selling things on your website. Something, you know, your product or your service can be sold from your website using a form. You can use it, you can use a job form mm. and um, you can take payments from people as well. Perfect. Well, awesome. We're already getting into sort of the second section, which is the different ways that you can use JotForm to collect data yes. uh, in your business. You mentioned a couple of amazing options. So I don't know, walk us through, uh, let's say I'm a service-based business. Um, what's the best place to start? OK. So the thing about a service-based business usually is that your time is precious. Because mm. if you're delivering a service, that's usually a time-based thing. So you want people who are coming and asking you about your service to be able to flow through quickly to qualify into a client or not. So a form that you can have on your website would be a qualification form or a prospecting mm -hmm. form. You mm -hmm. can use it to ask them questions. They could be yes or no questions or drop down questions to see if what their problem is can be solved with what you're uh, offering them. So for example, if your service is doing, I mean, I used to have an oven cleaning business, for example. So if on my website, the first question was, do you have an oven? Yes or no? <laughs> if they said no, then quickly we know that they're not going to be qualified as a person that can work with me mm. so, uh, or, or that needs my, the service that I'm offering. So a qualification form is a really good one. People mm. can go and select this or that. Um, an example of a, a large corporation doing this would be an insurance company. Mm. An insurance company, if you go to any insurance company's website, you'll see that the first thing that you, you, you're sort of, your eyes are drawn to is their form, which is asking you two or three questions. And that starts you on the qualifications process. Ah, OK. So that actually makes me think of something uh, that people ask me all the time. So what about people that are in financial services, you know, maybe financial planning, mortgage brokers, insurance brokers, mm. and they've got really confidential data that they're collecting from people? Um, would JotForm be a good way to collect that type of information? Definitely. So mm. there is a, um, a, a secure form uh, feature in JotForm mm. so that all of the data that is collected is submitted through secure servers. <clears throat> there is the ability to um, upload files to a form through submission. Mm. So if you have to upload, say, um, images or um, passport photo or something like that, that can be collected mm. in the form. And not only that, we can also collect signatures, which is quite exciting, because often that's a real pain for having to download a form and print it and then sign it, scan it. So JotForm allows you to add a little signature panel to, um, for people to sign online. So a service-based business who goes to a house, completes the service, mm. then asks the client to say the job's been complete, you could just simply give them your iPad or iPhone mm. or some other device to sign on the form, and it could be a job form that they're filling in. And then you're capturing their signature on the fly. Uh-oh, you could be converting me very quickly mm. onto job form. Um, I'm just thinking about some other things, like, for example, event sign-ups. Um, like, let's say I had an event that I wanted people to register for, whether it's a webinar or an actual in-person event, for example. And if someone signs up, are they actually able to create a booking through job form as well? Yes. Yeah, well, it depends on what your there's, there's great services out there for events. Mm. There are some event-based services like Eventbrite. 
Um, drop form would be a simpler way to do it. So you, you can limit the amount of submissions through a form. There is what's called field, um, you know, you, you, can, you can add, uh, what's the, um, you, can, you can add logic to fields to say only eight, for example, only eight um, submissions can go through and then the, the form stops. So that could be used for an event in that ah. sort of situation, yeah. Excellent. Ooh. All right. So basically, you name the scenario, you can replicate it using job form. Yes. And it sounds like it's secure. So even if you are providing some kind of confidential um, uh, access for customers to submit information, it still could work for you. Yeah. But the, one mm -hmm. of the most important things when you're starting out in a business is your budget. And one of the great things about job form is it's free to get started. Uh -huh. So that's, that's really important as well. It's such a great, powerful tool is actually free for you to play with right out of the out of the out of the um, out of the cloud, and I guess one of the th <laughs> as you as you start to use it and get more submissions, then there is a pricing uh, um, pricing mechanism in there, mm -hmm. so we can maybe have a look at that. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the sign up process. Hmm. And really, I want to say, oh gosh, I'm starting to sound like Pete Quist here. I don't know, this maybe is not a good thing, um, but we always want to recommend tools where you can start off for free and then scale up. Because you never know if you're going to actually like the interface, the look and feel, mm. or the way that that tool integrates with your other, uh, your other offerings in your organization. So, yeah, let's walk through walk us through the sign up process and how people can actually get their free account. Okay, mm. should we go and check it out now then? Yeah, let's hop onto the laptop. Okay, so the the screen that I have in front of me on the laptop is JobForm's sign up form. So right up on here it says signing up is free and only takes 10 seconds. That's a pretty good start. Okay, and you're at jotform.com forward. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.